Hello everybody and welcome to this WASP Top 10 training series. Today, you will learn one of the deadliest and most powerful security vulnerabilities out there. So impactful that some bug bounty hunters focus solely on finding it. Yeah, it's him, the famous Stuck. So today, you will practice XXE injection on WASP WebGoat. By the end of this tutorial, you will achieve the following goals. Exploit XXE to read internal files from the vulnerable server. Pivot from XXE to SSRF. Exploit a blind XXE. And finally, perform the billion laps attack. In this challenge, we have a comment feature which uses XML to carry the user input. Our goal is to read the secret file inside the server. First, log into your WebGoat instance and go to the third challenge in the XXE menu. Make sure you have your browser proxy and HTTP requests through OASP Zap or Burp Suite. Then send a comment. You should see a post request in your web proxy and there is XML data in the post data. Based on the explanations we provided in the XXE Vulnerability Theory blog post, I'll have it linked in the description box, we will use the following XML post data to read the file secret.txt from the remote server. Upon sending the malicious request above, we can see that the content of the secret file shows up in the comments list. We can use XXE not only to target a specific file, but also to list the content of a certain directory. So let's repeat the previous request once again. Instead of using the secret file, we are going to use the slash to simply tell the XML parser to return a directory listing of the read directory. And if we refresh the page, as you can see, we have the list of all the directories inside the roots folder. Now, sometimes, even though the server expects you to send a JSON object, you can still change the content type to application slash XML and hope that the backend server evaluates XML. So you can see that the content type is application slash JSON. You can change that to be application slash XML and we get an error saying clearly that there is an exception in the XML parser. So what we can do is try to change the post data to an XML document. We have an error back saying that expected element is a comment tag. Let's replace the text tag by a comment tag and refresh the page. And we can see that there is a null object returned in the comments. So what we can do is just repeat the same request as we did in the previous exercises. And as you can see, we still get the secret file. Because we can use almost every URI during an XXE attack, instead of using file, we can use HTTP to enumerate internal posts running on the server. So let's repeat the previous exercise, but instead of the previous post data, we are going to use the following one. Note that we are targeting the port 22, typically used for SSH, and we receive a reply which clearly states that there is no service running on port 22. Connection refused is a clear message that indicates that the port is closed. Note that you can also discover neighbor IP addresses, not just ports. Now, this is all good, but what if we don't have any input where we can inject our entity? Suppose that we don't have the ability to write a comment and have it shown back. As we explained in the XXE vulnerability theory blog post, you don't always receive a feedback from the application. We were just lucky that our comment input gets listed in the comments list area. If there was a moderator verifying incoming reports, chances are that we wouldn't have our malicious comment listed. So this is where blind XXE comes into play. First, let's prepare an external DTD file to host our callback our malicious DTD file 
will define a parameter entity named file which will point to our secret file and then it defines another parameter entity named bar which includes yet another parameter entity named out pointing to our malicious server which will receive the request containing the content of the secret file and then all we have to do is host this malicious DTD file on WebWolf and we get the link to our malicious file. Let's go to the seventh XXC challenge, submit a comment and capture the request in your web proxy like we did in the previous challenges. We're going to use the following XML post data. Note that we are using a parameter entity marked with a percent here and we're pointing it to our file that we uploaded on WebWolf. When you send the request, go to incoming requests tab on your WebWolf instance and you should get a callback like the one below with the content of the secret file. Now, sometimes you don't have the ability to perform any data exfiltration or SSRF because there is heavy blocking of the XML external entities or parameter entities. In this case, you can do what's called an XXC billion laughs attack. Now, a word of warning, please never use this against a target without permission. XXC can really lead to denial of service. In this example, let's perform XXC billion laughs attack and see what happens. If we go to the third XXC challenge and repeat the steps we did on our first section, but instead we will use the following payload to inject the word laugh a billion times in a comment. Notice how we build a really large string containing laugh word by just doing a compound concatenation. When we send the request, we get a response, as you can see, and it indicates that the parser has encountered more than 64,000 entity expansions. The response indicates that GDK is properly configured to perform 64,000 entity expansions at most, which is the default behavior. This behavior is controlled using the gdk.xml.entity expansion limit option, as you can see below, if its value is less than or equal zero, we would have crashed the server. So that's it about XXE. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. For more hands-on labs on many different use cases of XXE, I highly invite you to sign up on the Portswigger Academy website, where you can find a lot of labs and practice more on the XXE injection vulnerability attacks. If you're not subscribed yet to this channel, hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so that you know when a new video is up. Until then, stay curious, learn new things and go find somebody.